welcome to the electronic circuit analysis subject this is dr madhusudan phd department of ece today we will in this session we will study introduction to multi stage amplifiers what is the need of a multi stage amplifiers in the amplifier design is a single stage amplifier may be either voltage or current or power amplifiers is not sufficient to provide a proper gain for example we need 50 db of gain gain is measured in terms of db decibels if it is a measurement is 50 db we want an amplifier a single stage of amplifier is not sufficient to provide that much suppose 5 db 10 db is providing then we have to use the other stages in front of that so that it becomes a multi stage in practical cases we need more gain amplifiers so you, we use more stages of amplifiers and uh, they can be connected through coupling components one stage to the other stage we are connecting uh, maybe either uh, uh, through some coupling components or directly if you are connecting directly the output of the one amplifier to the next stage then it is called direct coupling maybe the transformer may be used in between two stages then it is called transformer coupling such we, we are using some components for some benefits so that that one we call it is a coupling through components signal transfer from one stage to other stage for example one of the amplifier output we are connecting to the other then how the signal will transfer it will transfer through coupling components coupling can be done as cascading or cascoding these two keywords are important cascading or cascoding so one is called cascading the other one we call it as a cascoding cascading is the cascading amplifier of any two port network constructed from a series of amplifier where each amplifier sends its output to the input of the next amplifier it is a what is that meaning is one stage of the output one stage output is connected to the input of the next stage wherever it is usually in uh, audio amplifier we use ce ce amplifier common emitter common emitter amplifier first stage is common emitter common emitter configuration that output will connect to the next ce amplifier that is base of the uh, next transistor so that is ce ce configuration that is called cascading amplifier the other one is we call it as a cascoding cascoding means it is a two stage amplifier it is also a two stage amplifier where first stage is common emitter CE the second stage is CB so CE and CB common emitter and common base next stage will be different common base so this is also used for the some purpose some benefit so this we will study further so first stage is CE and second stage will be CB so cascading is cascading is CE CE amplifier uh, whereas uh, cascoding is CECB amplifier so this you can remember easily so what are the types of the coupling so first one is RC coupling coupling RC coupling means the RC is uh, the term you will use for the R for resistor and C for the capacitors the network made the network or circuit is made by resistor or capacitor is we call it as a rc network rc circuit if we are using in between two stages of the amplifiers rc network then it is called rc coupling resistor and capacitors only two components we are using in a different manners then second one is impedance coupling impedance coupling means where the inductance and the capacitance are used inductance and capacitance are used inductance and capacitance will have in, uh, impedance xl and xc uh, so that's why we use uh, uh, either xc xl or xc so we are using uh, these component for coupling then it is called uh, um, then this is called uh, in impedance coupling then next one is transformer coupling transformer coupling means in between the two stages of amplifiers transformer is used so tra where transformer gives the some benefits in that first one is impedance matching impedance matching we are using from the primary and the secondary 
so impedance will be matched when impedance will be matched we know maximum transfer maximum power will be transferred through network an circuit analysis theory so that's what we use imped for impedance matching we use transformer coupling but it has a disadvantages also so that also we will study the next one is a direct coupling direct coupling is a the one output of the one stage is directly coupled to the next stage without any components that is called direct coupling types of amplifier see here the types of uh, observe carefully uh, the circuits are given in the right side S first one is ce amplifier where common emitter amplifier common emitter is common between input and output the second one is cb common base amplifier base is the input for in a common for the input side and output side and cc amplifier where collector is the input and common between collector and out uh, input and the output side whereas we can take uh, the output at the emitter side so observe here it is a emitter side of the output if you taking output here then collector becomes the collector becomes the input side uh, common between input and output okay this uh, you have to observe carefully c amplifier will have uh, the voltage gain is uh, greater than unity means more than one it will usually it is having voltage gain and voltage gain is further increased by Uh, connecting multi stages by connecting multi stages uh, we will increase common base amplifier its voltage gain is less than unity means less than 1 maybe between uh, usually it will be 0.5 to 1 in between hence uh, not suitable for cascading we are not using for the cascading this one common collector am amplifier its voltage gain is less than unity usually it is towards 1 0.8.91 like that and it is not suitable for the intermediate stages this one we are using for the impedance matching cc amplifier common com collector is used for either impedance matching or where you want input signal and output signal to be same but the stages are different so for example this is the input one stage and this is the other stage this side is the other stage then what happens this input side and output st stages will be different but in between this amplifier will isolate both stages as well as whatever the input signal is there this will it will transfer to the output side the, for that purpose we are using cc common collector gain of the cascaded amplifier the gain is uh, output whatever the output voltage is there v out divided by v in so or it is in terms of voltage or in terms of current i out divided by i in how much gain we are at achieved that much uh, we have to calculate in amplifiers gain is a measure of ability of two port circuit often it is a amplifier only to increase the power or amplitude of the signal from the input to the output port by adding energy converted from some of the dc power supply whatever it will convert it will take dc power supply help and it will convert that one it will convert to more then the input will be whatever the input signal is there it will be more ratio of the output voltage to the input voltage we call it as a gain it is often is expressed as logarithmic decibel db that is called decibel gain db gain okay decibel we'll study about this so ratio of output voltage to the input voltage v out by v in or it is a voltage gain if it is a current gain i out by i in if it is a power gain p out by p in usually in op amp uh, amplifiers it will be 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 6 it will be there so it is a huge number so uh, you we cannot say oftenly that uh, 10567 gain we are using like that five digit number six digit number it is very difficult then what we will do we will reduce that number reduce number reduce that number such that it becomes a very convenient to tell us then what we will do we will convert that is actually whatever the gain is there that five digit six digit number is we call it as a bell but we want to reduce that number to adjust that number for easy of convenience what we will do we will put logarithmic so in mathematics logarithmic will reduce that big number to small number logarithmic is a mathematical process where it will reduce the big numbers into small numbers for example log 1000 base 10 is 2 log 1000 is 3 see only 2 to 3 it is taking small number compared to big number so logarithmic is a mathematical process mathematical operation where we are uh, big number are reduced to 
small number that is called scaling factor so logarithmically it is scaled down so it will reduce the scale so when multiplied by 10 suppose you are having a five digit number and if you reduce by using a logarithmic sometimes what happens some numbers will go into 0 0.5 uh, 0 point something number then what we have to make is to adjust in between some convenient numbers or convenient range we will multiply by 10 if you multiply by 10 it is called a decibel decibel db so we usually we will this process we will make in 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 terms of amplifier specification gain specification so what voltage ratio is given by 20 log v out by vn actual gain is given by v out by vn when we add we v out by vn there is no unit so it we made it as a so we want to give some name so it is a bell is used then when we are multiplying by logarithmic it is the scale is compressed and then the 20 is multiplied to adjust the number in comfortable number limits so we say it as a it is measured in terms of db so for voltage ratio it is a 20 log db for power ratio it will be 10 log v out by vn so uh, when we are taking converting uh, uh, sorry it is a power for power it will be p out by v p in and uh, it will be converted into voltage then it becomes a voltage v out by v in square okay you think it is a square and measured in db then if it is in current but power ratio it will be i out square divided by i in square then this this two will come here it becomes a 20 log in the voltage ratio 20 log in voltage ratio in power ratio it will be 10 log so overall it is a 10 log v p out by p n or 20 log 20 log v out by v n for the voltage ratio so frequency response of an amplifier suppose one amplifier is one amplifier is there consider a block diagram input you are giving a different frequency this frequency we call it is a low frequency this frequency we call it is a high frequency and this frequency you can consider as a middle range frequency i have taken this uh, uh, graph from the frequency modulation wave so this low frequency high frequency and uh, uh, middle mid range frequency for all these three for all these three we have to analyze how the amplifier will give the output that is called frequency response of the amplifier okay that we have to study for the amplifiers so this becomes a this is the graph typical graph of the amplifier characteristics ce amplifier frequency response so this side it will be a low frequency and this side it will be high frequency here when frequency becomes a zero that is called a dc frequency when frequency this side it will go uh, it will be very high for example it will be in terms of megahertz and gigahertz so this this middle whatever the middle is there this becomes a mid band frequencies when in the low frequency range amplifiers will uh, the gain will slowly it will increase slowly it will increase towards zero it will be gain will be less to uh, slowly when you increase the frequency it will increase gain will increase v out by v n ratio will increase up to certain point after that frequency it will become a constant then what happens the gain will be constant so for certain range then after some certain frequency range it will decrease what is that meaning after high frequency that gain will decrease transistor operation will not be same in all the frequency range so where we identify two corners of the frequency where the frequency characteristics are little curvy so this point we take it as a mi minus 3 db minus 3 db means so maximum divided by root 2 we will make that becomes a minus 3 db in gain so from 3 db this corner to 3 db this corner it will be it will be a, a two corners we will identify two corners of the frequency changes so this one we take it as a f2 and this one you take it as f1 uh, this total overall it becomes a f2 minus f1 this becomes a range that becomes a bandwidth we say it as a, a bandwidth okay bw bandwidth so this higher the bandwidth of the amplifier is a good amplifier for us strictly speaking higher the bandwidth of the amplifier whatever the bandwidth specification is there uh, that is higher the bandwidth higher the 
frequency response and uh, we need it actually so some uh, some transistors won't work for the higher frequency for that we have to do something we will study one by one so coming up next uh, video uh, there is a cascode ampl configuration cascading amplifier and uh, darlington amplifier and hybrid pi model these are all coming up in the next video please watch next video in this this will be covered so thank you for watching subscribe my channel and uh, any doubts please comment in the video uh, comment box and uh, thank you everyone